Moving on now tonight, the South Haven, Mississippi community is far from healed one day after a deadly shooting at a Walmart store. Walmart managers Brandon Gales and Anthony Brown were killed Tuesday morning. Authorities say Martez Abram was the gunman and recently suspended from his job at Walmart. He was shot after shooting and injuring a South Haven police officer. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live outside that Walmart in South Haven tonight. Brad, has the store reopened yet? It has not, Richard. A sign outside said this Walmart remains closed until further notice. This hour, this normally bustling parking lot remains eerily quiet as emotions remain high and this community remains vigilant. With flowers laying next to crime tape, the South Haven Walmart is closed. One day after dozens of workers and customers witnessed and escaped an active shooter situation. How could they come back the next day and do that? Walmart vendor Ken Salmon came by the store but wasn't allowed in as crews clean up and investigators barricade the parking lot. Salmon knew victim Brandon Gales well. Just super nice. Everybody, everybody loves BG. Across town today, the South Haven Chamber of Commerce held an active shooter seminar with South Haven police in this building. The event, scheduled before Tuesday's deadly shooting, wasn't open to journalists, but we caught up with one attendee beforehand. After what happened yesterday, it, it, it really hits home. On a day where hugs and consoling were still abundant outside the store, others in South Haven sent their condolences to the families of Gales and fellow Walmart manager Anthony Brown. Police said their accused killer, Martez Abram, was suspended from his Walmart job in recent days for showing a knife to a fellow employee. And to think that you could lose your life or be involved in something like that is just terrible. South Haven is full of employment. And uh, for him to take that course to um, ruin three lives, including himself, you know, and it's, it's just a tragic day. Now this afternoon we went to the listed address of the suspect's father, but a garage door closed as we arrived. Today we also emailed a Walmart spokesperson several follow-up questions, but we've yet to hear back. Reporting live in South Haven, Mississippi, Brand Broders, Local 24 News. Thank you.